All right, Wine Wolf here. Um, different type of video. Uh, this is more for those who like to make wine and want a more efficient way to clean their tanks or carboys that are holding the wine. So I came up with my own little um, cleaner to make things more efficient. Borrowing ideas from other people that have done it, but I've tweaked it to, to work more for my setup. So what you're gonna need with this is, you know, I just bought two just regular buckets from the uh, big box store, and um, you need two of those. I have some half inch pipe, just bought them pre-cut. I'm gonna have to cut them to make them the proper size. I have an attachment that goes to a common hose from the yard that will send the water in to do the cleaning. And uh, you have to get the right attachment because, um, you know, a lot of them may look like they may, you know, turn on to a common garden hose, but they're not. The thread difference different. So you need to go to the sprinkler department. Usually we'll find this, not generally the PVC department. As you can see, I have an on and off switch, basically a valve, just this will connect to my hose and then I can turn on and off the cleaner. This will screw in like that and that will be attached to my system um, a little uh, L joint and a cap and I will show you what we will do with these so those are the materials uh, to start out with two buckets some PVC pipe the hose connector PVC cap this is for the half inch and also a PVC L joint all right, I have uh, fast forwarded doing a few things. This will be the bucket on bottom. As you can see, I have drilled drainage holes all you know around the side, not too many because I don't want to weaken the integrity of it, and then a certain amount on the bottom. So when the water goes through, it'll just drain out. And this is the one that goes in, just one hole in the center. Um, basically, the pipe will go inside, shoot up into the carboy, and then it'll drain out. So yeah, I did put some smaller drainage holes in case this hole gets a little backed up from all the water, but most of it will go through here. That's just some insurance. So it's gonna be like this, like that. And da -da -da -da. it's easier to do it the other way. There it is, there it is. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna be like that, getting it centered. This cap will go on top like that. And then this one is the connector to the hose. It'll be in like this. And then I got my little switch. That'll screw in like that. And then the hose will come into here. I'll turn it on at the hose, but then I can control when it shoots up and down by this little switch here, making it easy so I don't have to go back and forth between the hose. So now this is the setup. Oh yeah, and then this will just kind of go like that. This right here, it's already supporting it, so I don't have to put anything under. And uh, supporting it like that. And then if I wanted a little extra support for the carboy, I can use a dryer, just put it over the pipe. And then the carboy will go on it and kind of stay in place better. But it's not necessary because this is about, you know, the diameter, a little bigger than the diameter of the carboy, so it will stay stable. But if I wanted to get a little height, a little more support, I'll use that. So now, it is time to glue everything together with the PVC pipe glue. So now we're gonna demonstrate the carboy washer, how it works. So that cap I put on, you can actually see, I put some holes in there. So that's gonna do the cleaning. And there's connected there. I do have a uh, water filter there so that I know good water is going up to clean it and not dirty hose water. So let's check it out. Okay, gotta clean this thing. Let's see how this thing works. Ha! Look at that. I guess it's kind of leaning to one side, so I can just turn it. Yeah, working pretty good. I can just kind of move it if I want to. Turn it. And then we'll get the rest off by scrubbing, but that's a good initial rinse. Come back down. Now after a quick scrub with the brush, just kind of rinsing it out. This thing is going to be nice and rinsed with no residual. Then I'll uh, sanitize it with some sulfite solution. All right. Yeah, look at that. 
Nice.